This is where I keep my boat these days. This is Plog Off. This is as far west as you can get in France, in continental France, in mainland France, before basically you get to New York. Out to the west here in that direction there's there's really nothing. It's a daft place to keep a boat really but um, my friend Didier whose garden this is is very accommodating. I did a lot of work on the boat last spring, beginning of the pandemic, so I was in lockdown in Britain and I did a number of videos of that so you've seen all that. This spring, 2021, I did rather less uh, and there was another lockdown here in France and I had to rush to get the boat in the water because we weren't allowed to move around very much and I couldn't actually come here from where I live, that was too far. So now I'm just doing a little bit of work today to keep the boat going because I want to try and keep her in commission over the winter. Yes, so Didier has a an lure as well, which is this boat here. It's rather longer than mine because he builds boats and he built it bigger. So we have two lures side by side. The first thing I need to do is some work on my new trailer. I'm generally very pleased with this. It has a nice line of rollers under the keel that takes the main weight of the boat. I've added a wooden channel near the back of the trailer that just helps to guide the boat onto the keel rollers and stop it sliding sideways if there's a strong cross tide. This is a pivot as it's a brake back trailer, the front pivots down, there's the retaining pin, there's an extra adjustable roller just holding up the bow, the winch post with a very nice winch with a removable handle. Rollers down here that line up the boat on the trailer when it first goes on, but then I put an extra roller here just to pick up the bow. These flip, look and then collect the bow between them and then it ro rolls onto that which is uh, an extra roller that actually Didier has put on for me with a, a bit of stainless steel threaded rod a couple of nuts on each end yeah. and then the, the main central roller is just beyond and back here are the clamps for the um, lighting board a number plate. The wheel hub ends, the wheel hub caps are transparent and as you can see they're full of oil and you can see the level of oil within them and the clever thing is if water gets in that will turn white because the oil will emulsify so you can see that it's still waterproof if it's nice black oil like that. These allow the trailer to roll on the ground so I can pick up the boat dry. One day I'll do a video showing that, but that's, they're just uh, standard rollers that you would put on top to bear against the boat. That's a really good adaptation. Trailers should have this on, but they don't. Yeah, well, the first thing is, under this trailer here it rocks a bit this one has dropped relative to the other one that's what's happened so we need to lift this one back up again uh, to stop the boat rocking all right so we're going to introduce this jack underneath the the jack from my van so we're putting the strain on the trailer 
Right, there we go. So it's going to be about that. Let's see. A bit bigger than that. That one, there we are, 19. Okay. Put some of this on. We're not sponsored by any of these people. This is just what I'm using. Make a bit of that into there. Right. Putting a bit more strain on the jack under. See what I'm doing is my tape. Look, so uh, let's see 16.7 to the middle of the uh, nut. There we go. <laughs> We're going to do that on the other side, tension the other one. See that's rather less. So we're gonna winch gonna winch this side up. A lot of space to operate a, a jack under here. of strain on that jack, basically forcing it into the soil. Put on a bit more of the WD-40. So we slacken this side off as well. There you are, you can see the support moving upwards a few millimetres. There we go. That's what we'll do for now. So now we just have to get the jack out from underneath. You can see there is a pencil line which was where it was and it's lifted slightly. There's a different pencil line when I was trying a, a different position. <sighs> that would be better shorter. So we're going to Chop off the bottom with the angle grinder. In my long extension lead is an English one, so I need an adapt to both ends. go so we just have to do the other side the same amount yeah. put the uh, this wood against the tire to protect it from the sparks 
this. Oh, God. So it's tiring because you're in a, a sort of uncomfortable position. So that's the morning's work. The afternoon's work is going to be sorting out the um, the tack down hall. Way down here is the tackle for the tack down hall. These are new blocks. These are new plastic blocks. I had the old wooden blocks, but they kept getting caught because often there's the cover here cover gets stowed here, tent cover, and they kept catching on it. And they, it runs through various little fair leads, look, under the gunnel, into the bows. What I want to do is shorten this. So I'm going to cut off this Take it back to here. Sailor's palm. form a fairly tight loop and it needs to hold up sorry easier if I don't speak with a needle in my mouth isn't it yeah it's got to hold up that what we're going to do is to sew the loop first of all difficult because the rope has been varnished before. I'm talking with the needle in my mouth as, again. Look. You have to do this if you've not got three hands. So what I'm going to do is to sew back and forth through the loop using the, the palm. Easier. You do it inside something in a field in Brittany back end of October. Now I'll take the needle off. Uh, 
that uh, winding round here. I'm basically finishing it off with some um, half hitches. How have you gone round the back of there? How have you done that? How on earth have you done that? Right, so that's it says done for today. So Bosun's bag. So we'll put the mast up and check that the uh, the sail is about the right proportions thingy. What I mean is checking that the tack down haul is now the right length to make the sail the right shape. And yes, it is starting to rain. Go inside because it's raining. Walk with me down the road. There's sunshine. <laughs> well, I'm giving this up. Um, I don't think the rain's going to stop today. This is Brittany in uh, autumn. There you are. That's why it's it's all so green. It's almost like England, isn't it? <laughs> Make me